They are running on a gold chain blockchain. This is a public one and a DPoS model. And here is a decentralized private computing resources. Then here is baby applications. So I only recommend assets in Bitcoin and all the articles related to these six categories. And if you want to deepen your understanding about my portfolio strategy, please check out my other video about my portfolio strategy. And here is my video link. Okay. And today's all my matching categories here. Number one, DApps, especially B2C DApps. Okay. And as usual, I'm gonna apply the six anchor points. So starting from the pain points, products, team. Execution power, talk economy, and hype cycle. And for each, I set a 5.0 point here. So the total score is 30.30. And also, if you want to deepen your understanding about how I'm going to analyze each point here, please check out my other video about my Alcoin investment strategy. And here's my video link, okay? And then number one, pain point analysis. So about pain points, higher yield gas fee become the critical obstacle for NFT market developments. Let me give the background here. So this is a vast project platform comparison. Data from 2019, but we can learn many things from this graph. Orange one is a pure market capitalization of the each vast project, such as East, ER, Stellar, Trump, okay? And the blue one is the aggregated market cap of the total dApps, which is running on each platform, such as Ethereum, EOS, okay? Now, as you can see here, Ether market share is outstanding. Most of the major DAP projects on the blockchain space running on Ethereum. And these DAP concessions eventually cause critical problem on the Ethereum platform is gas fee issue. This is a you know, transaction fee comparison between Bitcoin and ETH. Sometimes ETH gas fee higher than Bitcoin. It's kind of a huge problem in the Ethereum ecosystem domain in the long term because Ethereum transform their consensus algorithm from proof of work based one like Bitcoin to proof of stake based one in December 2020. One of the major reasons they made this transformation to decrease gas fee. But eventually is gas fee still rising. Okay? So a lot of retail investors think that other growth project has a high potential as an alternative model. A lot of that fire moving out from Ethereum to those bus projects. So it's gonna be a critical issue for this bus industry layer on blockchain space. But Ethereum platform also seriously working on to solve this issue too. For example, Mutable X, they're gonna develop in the second layer solutions on the Ethereum platform. And especially for NFT transaction, they're gonna provide a gas-free model. And also additional one, is EIP 1559. I'm not going to tell you the detail here, but with the EIP 1559, we can accept certain level of gas fee reductions. So that is why Ethereum problem is also seriously working on this gas fee problem, which means that this pain point itself is not that quite high level. Okay, that's the key things I want you to stand here. And then number two, product analysis. So before I move into the details stuff, let's check out an overview of the economy. So this project is funded in April 2017 by Orbis Blockchain Technology. And Orbis is a leading sales company in New Zealand and raised 10 million ICO in 2019. And the baby app allows users to experience its true ownership of the premium digital collectibles, which means NFT. Okay? The economy collects will be the deploying the OMI tokens and a digital portable NFT contract on a gold chain network, not Ethereum network. Okay? And the gold chain network successfully performed 1,300 transactions and on the track to perform 13,000 transactions per second. So this is an econ vertical cross switching model. So as I told you, they are running on a gold chain blockchain. This is a public one and a DPoS model. And here is a decentralized private company resources. Then here is baby applications. It's a dark flyer. Then currently they focus on brand NFT, also CZM NFT. And also probably they are planning to add some other NFT business stuff here. Okay? 
Then once you get to download your B2C applications, this is a UI overview. So this is a password overview of Bebe. As you can see, store functions, your question item, the data feed about each you know, NFT new good stuff, and the market for buying stream stuff, and also you can you know, change your profile here. And once you get access to you know, this market, you can check about these you know, premium NFT protocol stuff, you can buy it with their token, okay? And then one of the unique feature about their product is this one. You can access to 3D space inside of applications and then you can decorate inside this room with your NFT item stuff. So it's kind of an interesting approach. And the very kind of professional analysis as usual. So I pick up the origin protocol and also flow and wax. Ecomi currently focuses on NFT commerce business stuff. But thinking about the strengths of the characteristic stuff, it's much more behind that flow, okay? And about DeFi, Origin Protocol, all the token they are running on, on top of Ethereum platform, or Ethereum oriented one, that is why they can leverage NFT DeFi model for the future e-commerce business stuff. This is actually a great advantage for the Origin Protocol. But about gas fee model, since e-commerce running on a gold chain network, unlike Origin, much cheaper. Same as Flow and Wax still, because they're running on their own blockchain network too. Then about stablecoin transaction, it's also played a critical role for the e-commerce business stuff because you want to buy your NFT collectible stuff with a stablecoin, like USDT or DAI, okay? And e commerce doesn't have this feature yet. Same as for and Wax still, right? And about DAO, Origin Protocol, much more advanced than other products too. And to help you understand about the uniqueness of the e commerce I'm going to pick up the from Barker Pro strategy. As I told you that Flow is so seriously focused on the strengths of the NFT character business. Currently, their major title is NBA Top Shot. It's got a huge success. But also in parallel, they are working on other NFT blockchain game stuff, such as MotoGP, like Formula One Core, also UFC. Think about current hot topic on the NFT business stuff. These character business stuff is a pretty critical requirement. And it compared with Flow, OMI, you know, NFT character stuff, it's much more behind. That's the key things I want you to understand here, all right? And then this is another second item here is NFT e-commerce and DeFi potential. E-commerce running on GoChain network. E-commerce itself is a B2C application for NFT business. So to me, it looks like decentralized Amazon. Origin protocol, they are running on Ethereum. They, they're gonna, they're gonna act like D2C business on e-commerce business stuff. So I'll simply say it's a decentralized Shopify. In long term, think about the you know, ideal framework about distributed e-commerce business stuff. To me, Origin Protocol, they're gonna take the right approach. Now, e-commerce. Why? Because Shopify model is more a decentralized model. And also, to compete with centralized e-commerce players such as Amazon, eBay, DeFi, play a very critical role because you know blockchain e-commerce player need a critical edge to defeat Amazon and eBay and from this perspective DeFi e-commerce has a huge potential especially NFT space and so based on these comparisons still I see origin protocol has much higher potential than economy okay then another reference stats. So NFT sales ranking as of April 2021, data from Crypto Slam. So as I told you that currently the strength of the character on NFT is pretty important. Then these are the top 10 title about NFT gaming stuff, NFT crypto item stuff, and enemy top shots by Flow Project played a reading role here. Next one is CryptoPunk on the Ethereum platform. So from this perspective, only approach is unique. I see the side level of potential here, but think about the character business stuff, it's much more behind than these two players. So for only business in long term, what they have to achieve is they have to build a quite strong NFT character business stuff as soon as possible. That's what I'm thinking about, okay? Then one more item for your reference, think about you know future of the game depths. It's an Oasis on Ready Player One. This is my favorite Harry movie. If you have not watched this movie yet, Please check it out on a Netflix or Amazon Prime or something. This is a great movie. But simply say, the Oasis is a kind of an ideal world about blockchain game. 
And currently, once we're going to look at you know, e-commerce approach, they are not so seriously working on game space, but what they're focused on, like, you know, premium collectible items on a game or animation character stuff, which is also great sympathy on Oasis world itself. So I'm not 100% for sure that e-commerce wants to pursue these type of concept, but what I want to ask you here that let's remember this topic when we think about the future development about e-commerce, okay? And then number three, key analysis. So key member in you know, Ops Blockchain Technologies. So David Yu, founder, is executive director at the Binzi FinTech, Logan LA, also director at Game R Earth Limited, game publisher in Oakland. And Daniel, co-founder CEO, co-founder at the Distalus, at the web agency, he's also co-founder at Her. So both are serial entrepreneurs. This is good. And Joseph, co-founder and advisor, founder and CEO at the Honest Solutions, and he's a co-founder and CEO at the Movement Food. Additionally, they have 25 members, mainly in New Zealand and Taiwan. So simply say, it's kind of well experienced serial entrepreneur team, so not that bad, okay? And then number four, execution power analysis. So again, NFT sales ranking, because economy focuses on NFT business. If they want to appeal their strong execution capability, their business should be ranked inside the top 10. Flowbars, Ethereum, and Wax is a major player here. So Ecomi is out of ranking. So their execution capability has a little problem here, okay? And then number five, token economy analysis. So token economy design matrix which I made, and they are matching category here, dApps. For the dApps business, network effect, for a very critical role. Now, I cannot confirm the network effect model of the ecom yet. So for your reference, I want to share my analysis about network effect on flow, because which is a very convincing one. So this is the starting point. Blockchain game developer who prefer a cheaper gas fee for NFT transactions, they're going to choose flow bros. So a lot of devs game developed on top of the flow, so they can gain active user traffic here. And as the next step, as I told you, Oasis is the future of the blockchain gaming space. And Flow also targets on these concepts. So they're going to provide cloud NFT on all gaming experiences. So more selection of the blockchain game with less friction cost to play. So they can achieve better customer experiences. Then this is their primary growth, steps growth. And as a second growth, DAO plus asset growth. And one of my key expectations for the Flow project is this one require flow token staking for shared NFT game experiences stuff. Then additionally, they have to develop the DeFi solutions with the NFT. But once they're gonna complete this type of you know, product here, they can achieve this one. More limited supply for speak later about the flow token. That is why less supply on the crypto exchange, they can achieve more proof of stake governance model on their DAO. So, you can expect from talk asset goals will be more stable one. So they can provide more better customer experiences of flow holder. That's growth also continuing. Okay? Ecomi have to realize same level network effect as we're gonna see on a flow project. Okay? And the governance DAO, it's very critical because Ethereum is well developing right now. Then since Ecomi kind of taking the vertical pro strategy because they're gonna choose the unique bus project, they also have to seriously do their DAO mechanism too, okay? And then number six, hype cycle analysis. So got the hype cycle analysis, blockchain technology 2020 versions, and a major matching category of the e-com here, blockchain asset tokenizations, and decentralized applications. First of all, DAX is a major matching category for them. So next five to 10 years, we're gonna see a huge amount of DAX player come to this market. So e you know, they have to deal with the harsh competition here. Blockchain asset tokenizations. All the NFT player have to take in care of the DeFi solution in the next three to five years. About e on a boss item, I'm gonna expect a certain level of traction there, but since their execution capability is not that quite high as of now, so I cannot give them a higher score here, okay? So final item, total swap dates. About pain point, 4.5. As I told you, Ether with gas cost fee, it's not a permanent one. 
because Ethereum itself also seriously working on some this issue. Good example is EIP 1559, so 4.5. About product, kind of unique user experiences, but as I told you that, if they want to focus on NFT business as of now, you need a strong character business, like anime top shot. So compare with Flow, it's a little behind, so 4.0. Team level, well experienced team, but I think they need someone who are pretty strong at NFT character business, so 4.0. Execution power, 4.5. Thinking about you know, their you know, strong momentum at the NFT area, you know, current execution power is pretty good, 4.5. But as I told you many times that NFT is on the bubble. So once NFT bubble bursts, I think e-commerce has been serious trouble for the business traction staff. So I think it's gonna be tough work for them to maintain this higher score here, okay? And the token economy, I cannot still confirm that strong, you know, character business on the token economy stuff yet, so 4.0. Hype cycle, blockchain asset tokenization, dApps, or a pretty high potential topic on the blockchain space. Then about e economy, I can see the starting of the expectation for them next to two to three years, but I told you many times that they have to build a pretty strong character business on the NFT space right now, Otherwise, once NFT bubble is burst, they're gonna face in serious trouble. So the current total score is 25 points. So my minimum investment criteria is over 25 points. So from this perspective, I'm gonna recommend investment in e-commerce token or MI. But as I told you many times here that once NFT bubble burst, I think e-commerce have been facing serious issue to compete with other NFT players such as Fallout Theater. So, Let's pay attention to the business growth, especially for the next two to three months, okay? All right, so that is all this time. So I'm gonna make this video for the education purpose. So I'm not gonna guarantee you any kind of certain level of investment outcome with this video or any other video that I make. But I truly hope that my video will practically help you guys understand about high potential of the crypto and blockchain space. So I'm gonna make a lot of in this video of crypto and blockchain space. So thank you for watching. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel.